are in New York. <laughs> Lovely little solo morning of sightseeing and matcha. Of course, Monday is planned around gluten-free treats. Thing. Oh, wow. <gasps> this is cool. Hi, friends. Guess where we are? I guess the title gave it away, huh? We are in New York. <laughs> I got here last night. I have not explored at all. I have a solo morning today. The reason I'm here is Jordy actually has a show here tonight. So him and the crew and all the friends are getting in later today. So I'm excited to have a morning by myself to explore. I've never been here as an adult. I've been here once at like 14 years old and this was high up on my bucket list of places to see. I figure what we could do is I can give you a little room tour of where I'm staying and then I've planned out a whole solo morning. I think I want to check out Chelsea this morning. It seems the most McHellish. I found a spot that's 100% gluten free and has bagels. Chelsea Market, I'm sure I'll want to go back to that multiple times and the High Line. So I'm really excited for today and I'm really excited to have you along. Just so you have a better 360 degree view, here's the rooftop. I hadn't seen it until <laughs> literally five minutes ago, but I love all the landscaping. I think if I lived in a city like this, I would just seek out greenery and plants as much as possible because it just lowers cortisol. <laughs> and uh, from just my, you know, 15 hours here, I can already tell it's a high cortisol city. So this is very peaceful and calming and serene. Look down that way. I'm in the uh, financial district. So kind of in the heart of it all. I was waiting to see if I got good light in here to do a room tour, but I'm realizing tall buildings equals probably sliver of the day you ever get direct light. I actually can't even see the sky. So that would make sense. So we're gonna work with what we got, but here's a little room tour. I'm staying in a Sonder. I love Saunders. This is like my fifth time staying in one and I'll primarily be staying in these when I move out and do my nomad life thing. But this actually ended up being cheaper than a lot of the hotel options that I could find and has a kitchenette and stuff, which is awesome for being able to cook or eat or, you know, celiac things. But I'm pretty sure I'll be eating out a lot. But here's the room. You walk in and the bathroom is to your right. It's a very nice little bathroom, actually tons of storage. This ledge works as something you can set your stuff on. Nice shower with my stuff already on it because like I said, I got here last night. Very thankful for the full length mirror to check your outfits. And there is a wardrobe that I've already unpacked in. A huge closet, which I know is a luxury. So I have my suitcase in the corner in there, but there's no rod. I would add a rod if I were them. I think a lot of people obviously come here for work, so they have a really great work setup with two rolly chairs, a TV, but I love this banquette um, because you can eat, work, lounge, anything over here with a really cool light as well. And then on this side of the room is the bed. Yep, I made the bed for y'all this morning. So it has a cool headboard and like floating side tables on each side. But my favorite thing is this kitchen because it's beautiful and so much is hidden inside of it. Let me show you. Like first over here, this is the fridge. And then it took me so long to notice this. Obviously, you know, microwave, stove top, but I was looking for trash bags last night. So I opened this up. That's a dishwasher. Isn't that crazy? Okay, there's just one more thing that I gotta do before we can call an Uber and head over to Chelsea, and that is take my seed probiotic. I am religious about taking this in the mornings, but especially during travel. I take two every morning during travel, no matter what, and I'm getting to work with seed on this video, which is just perfect timing. But when I go new places, I try new foods. I have new sleep schedule. Things are just like kind of different and out of whack, and the one area I really feel it is my digestion. I'm more bloated, get a little stocked up, all those types of things. And this really helps keep me on track, feeling good. I actually even brought a little refill pack for Jordy because he's been on the road with Tour and his tummy's been feeling it. And so I got him some of his own seed a while ago and he was like, this makes such a difference. So I brought him a refill. He's a big fan of it now too. But in case you haven't heard me talk about it, this is a daily symbiotic. It's more than just a probiotic. They have so much research and intentionality behind their product, which is why I'm like, 
yes, it's worth the price point because it affects so many different areas of your health. Like, of course, tummy, that's kind of obvious, but even like skin, cardiovascular, gut barrier integrity, that's a big thing, especially if you have something like me, like celiac. Gut immune function really helps uh, with travel as well. And so what it is, is it's two capsules inside each other. There's an outside capsule, which is a prebiotic, which protects the inside capsule, which is the probiotic. And the probiotic has 24 strains, which is so many more than what I normally can find at just like my grocery store probiotic and the more the merrier. I also love for travel that this has no refrigeration required. Some other probiotics that aren't protected like seed is will die with heat. With seed, you can just throw it in your bag, take it with you all day. You don't have to worry about the heat. You know it's gonna survive and be fine and you're not wasting money that way. So that's something else I super appreciate. I do actually have a promo code that I've had for a while with them because I've worked with them for a while because I've loved them for so long. So I'm gonna have a link down below if you wanna click on that. But otherwise it's Mikkel, just my name, and that will get you 15% off of your first month of seed. When you sign up, you get your big glass jar and a little travel one. And this holds two weeks of seed, which is awesome. So as long as you're going on a trip two weeks or less, you can just throw this in your bag. It takes up almost no space. And then they send you the refills and this super sustainable packaging. They're awesome all around. I love getting to work with them. Thank you to Seed for not only working with me, but for saving my tummy on trips. <laughs> Cause if my tummy feels good, I feel good. And then I can go see more and do more. And I so appreciate that. So I'm gonna take these real quick. Let's head on over to Chelsea. The bagel spot I wanna go to doesn't open until 10 and it is 8.40. So maybe we see the High Line first. I had planned it out in a way to where I could walk and see all of it. This would be backtracking, but walking is good for us. So let's do that. Oh, wow. <gasps> this is cool. Apparently he said this goes for like 20 blocks and it's just this like green walking trail above the city. Used to be a train track, I think. Looks out, there's water. I'm so excited. I so walking on the High Line and I noticed something and I said, wait, I think that's Little Island which I've heard is really neat. And so I just got off the High Line and oh my gosh, this is weird. I'm so excited to explore it. It's basically this tiny little park that's like built on stilts over the water and has a ton of different greenery and plants and stuff on it. So let's go see what it looks like on top. I wanna show y'all what some views look like. There's the skyline this way. And around this way, water views. Wow. It's pretty stunning. About to exit out this way, which is so cool to walk underneath it. And it's perfect because this spits out onto 14th Street. And the bagel spot I want to go to is on 14th Street and opens like in 10 minutes and it's a 15 minute walk. So I figured we could just exit that way. But I wanted to show y'all. It's pretty, it's pretty wild. Oh, I found it. Modern bread and bagel. Every single thing in here is gluten-free. Oh, and there's pastries too. Cookies, muffins. Can y'all see through? <gasps> Donuts. Uh-oh, it's going to be hard to choose, but I have to get a bagel. Okay, rookie mistake. I got an everything bagel, but I thought it just came with cream cheese, and it doesn't. And I'm like too embarrassed to go back and ask them to cut it for me. So I'm going to try a bite of a plain bagel, and then maybe I'll go order another one. But I also got a donut. That's pretty good. It would be way better with cream cheese, but tradition, every solo trip, I find a gluten-free donut. I have a couple other gluten-free donut spots I'm going to make within the next week. And by the way, I think there's going to be two separate vlogs, but let's try this one. I'm a sucker for just the plain, plain glazed donut. That's really good. Look at the, the fluff, the dough structure. That's really, really good. I'm glad to be here on a Monday morning because I've heard it gets like super stressful and busy in here, but it's very calm. There's a bookstore too. Y'all, 
Y'all know the neighborhood goods on South Congress where I buy gifts for everybody? Apparently there's one in New York also, and it's funny because it's like all the exact same stuff. I actually think I like the downstairs of the Chelsea Market a little bit more because this is where all the actual grocery stores are. There's an Italian one, a fruit one. Here is an Asian food store, which is honestly great. I tried two different grocery orders yesterday to find tamari. Both times they were canceled because we have several sushi plans this next week. So I'm gonna see if I can't find some tamari in this little grocery right here. I found this flea market in Chelsea Market and it's called Artist Flea Market and there's a ton of vendors of like clothes, jewelry, art. It's actually very cool. Crowded, loud, but very cool. My last stop on my solo adventure morning is I asked my friend Michelle Reed what her recommendations are. Y'all probably know Michelle. Um, she lived in New York for all of college and then worked in New York for like a year after college. And if y'all like my channel, you'd love her channel. She is fantastic and so sweet. But she recommended a coffee shop called Maman and it's a big chain. So there's a lot of locations around and I'm pretty close to one of the locations. I'm currently 900 feet away. It looks very girly and cute. And so I say, let's go check it out and get a coffee. I promised myself that if I wanted to live my dream of traveling to different places and exploring new cities that I would also budget in a few hours of rest every day to make sure I keep my health in check. So got back to the Sonder, gonna rest, um, upload footage, get on top of a couple email things, and then strike back out this afternoon and meet up with Journey and Scooter and Juliana and all the pals, I'm really excited. I'm at the venue and they're getting set up. They're about to do sound checks, so I'm gonna go on an adventure because on this next corner I saw a spot that said churros and then we stopped at the light so I could read the small print that said all churros vegan and gluten free. And I was like, I've literally only had fried like white bread today, but you know, when in New York, you eat the things you want to eat, but oh gosh, I think it's raining. Wow. It's Bringing the churros okay. to everybody. This is our taste test. Which one are you gonna churro. try? Dark chocolate. The Both hot of dark chocolate. Oh damn. Mm, is it good? good? It's good. It's good. Can you tell it's gluten free? I don't want to be but, dramatic, but no, it's not. really good. <laughs> Good morning, it is day two in New York. I didn't get much footage in the afternoon and evening except for those few iPhone clips, but I got to meet a lot of online friends, like more than I was expecting, 12, 15, 20 in that range, and it made my heart really, really full. Um, and slept in this morning, it's actually already noon. Of course, my day is planned around gluten-free treats. There is a, I don't remember if I've said this yet or not, but there is a bakery that I wanted to go to Paris for. It's called No Glue, and it's a French patisserie that's 100% gluten-free. Somehow they even do gluten-free croissants. I'm not sure how that's physically possible. I was planning a solo trip to Paris one of these days because that was the main reason I wanted to go. And I found out there's one in New York and it's right next to Central Park. So my plan is to meet up with Jordy and his brother and his brother's wife. We're gonna spend the day together. We're gonna go to that bakery, walk Central Park. We have early dinner reservations and then we have tickets to see Into the Woods tonight. So it's gonna be a very, I think, classic New York kind of day. Gonna be out from, you know, noon to the show. So I'm bringing a change of shoes and a jacket and hopefully I can go to a Broadway show in shorts. I don't know what's acceptable, but we will find out. I know this is ridiculous, but this is the number one thing I'm most excited about. I think this whole trip, besides you. 
I'm excited about you. There's croissants. Look at it. Can you see it? Gluten free croissants. None of croissants. this will kill you. I can eat literally any of. I don't even know what that is. It looks like a, just a glass of hamburger bun, but I want it. Brownie. <gasps> Let's get like one of everything. <laughs> okay, I went all out because I just want to try a bite of everything. We got a blueberry tart. I think this is called a Paris Breast. Never heard of it. Chocolate eclair, cream puff, croissant, chocolate chip cookie, handsome boy. This is what it looks like in here, and it's just very cute. Almost as cute as that dog, but not quite. Okay. Oh, wait, no, there's some flakes. Yeah. They got flakes. Probably not as traditionally flaky, you know. Buttery flaky crust. It is buttery. The lady that works here said that she wanted to work here for this. So, this is what it looks like. Wow. Chocolate eclair. Very good. Oh, what I'm gonna do is try one bite of everything and then tell y'all what my favorite is, but I feel like it's gonna be really funny to bite into this. So I just wanna try it on camera. It's, it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> Whoa. Puffy and creamy. Puffy and creamy. Okay, after ever trying one, two, three, four, five, six things. I think my favorite is actually the chocolate chip cookie. I recently learned that if you use chocolate chunks instead of chocolate chip, there's no wax coating. And so the chocolate stays like melty. And I think that that's what they did. I would say first this, second croissant, just cause it's so different and I can never have it. And third, maybe the chocolate eclair in that order. Well, no glue is uh, basically across the street from the center of Central Park. So we're gonna explore. I've only seen it once um, in the winter, so I've never seen it in the summer. And so I hope we all enjoy a nice little lovely montage of all the scenic things we see. Does that sound nice? Let's do it. Brooke and Liam's apartment because Jordy has to borrow a suit because our fancy dinner tomorrow night has a, um, what is it called? Dress code. Dress code. So we're going to do a little a little fashion show. Apparently Liam got both these suits when he was 14. Yeah, like this. And I guess he was that size when he was 14. Yep, he was. <laughs> but I was this size. So option number one. Okay, so this is me eating. Mmm, handsome. Sipping. Option number two. I actually feel like that one does fit you a little better. This is me <laughs> laughing at a joke. An option number two. So you want that shirt? I mean... Or a shirt. You, yeah. You probably should wear like a proper shirt. I just kind of like that vibe. I bet you'd get in wearing that. They'd think you're cool. Yeah, so. yeah probably. Especially with the gold chain. With the gold chain. Yeah. 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 Kind of retro. Such day of this vlog. I'm going to be starting a second vlog and I'm going to just take the solo morning. I think ever since taking solo trips, I've realized how much I enjoy getting to explore a city by myself because I get to go at my own pace. So I want to head over to Brooklyn 
Um, it's actually a very cheap Uber ride right now, and this is another spot my friend Michelle Reed said to check out as the promenade, and then she gave me the name of the street. It started with an M. Maybe like Montague Street or something similar, she said has cute shops. So I thought that could be a lovely little solo morning to walk around and see that together. But before we head on out, I hope y'all can hear me. New York is so loud. I wanted to have a little chat about the concept of traveling when you have a chronic illness because I shared something about this kind of on Instagram responding to a comment and then it sparked a pretty big discussion and I loved getting to read other people's perspectives of people that struggle with similar illnesses to me, very different illnesses to me, and about the concept of traveling and just like getting out there and living life when you feel good and like trying to plan around when you feel good even though it's unpredictable when you feel good and I don't want to talk broadly about this because everyone's experiences are so different in terms of living life with a chronic illness but for me I have learned that the thing that flares my illnesses is stress but it's more mental and emotional stress than it is physical stress and mental and emotional stress is triggered a lot by like overworking, being on social media too much, and honestly, living in an area where I have so many friends and family is amazing. It is such a beautiful gift and the most fulfilling thing about my life, but I put a lot of pressure on myself to try to keep up with everybody, and so because of that, I accidentally overcommit and get social fatigue very easily and get stressed of like, oh, I haven't reached out to this person, I haven't seen this person in this long. So for me, traveling is an excuse to like, focus on myself and it relieves a lot of mental and emotional stress because I, I can't be making plans with every single person I know because I'm alone and it forces me to kind of like slow down, focus on myself, focus on my needs, my rest, and then also have a distraction. It fills my heart with joy. It is exciting and fulfilling for me. And so because of that, I have found travel to be something that is actually good for my health because it relieves that pressure I put on myself because I can't be working as much and I I can't overcommit to social plans. I can only do what I want for the day. It's been something I've been experimenting with this year and it's something I wanna keep doing a lot. But I just wanted to say that that looks very different for every single person. And um, you know, don't compare your journey with other people's journeys if you also struggle with some sort of chronic illness and are just trying to like live life and get through the day. We're all, we are all doing the best we can and we can only listen to ourselves and our own body and figure out what's best for us and there shouldn't be any shame about that. My prayer for you and my prayer for me is that we listen to our bodies and we do exactly the right thing for us in that moment and that's what I'm gonna be trying to focus on more this next year. So, that's my little spiel. Let's go to, let's go to Brooklyn. Oh, I've made it to the promenade and this is a must see. Thank you, Michelle, for this recommendation. I love being able to see all of Manhattan at the same time and the water and then you look over this way and it's the Brooklyn Bridge. It's kind of it's kind of magical to see it all from the other side. I always like visit places and try to picture if I could live there. I don't know why my brain does that where I'd work. I think I mentioned that where I'd live. So far, first impression, I like Brooklyn way more <laughs> than Manhattan so far. It just it feels a little bit more quiet like the neighborhood streets back here. If you can see them are really cute and um, you get the views of the cool stuff, so I, I like it a lot. I just met the nicest guy. He's like, you want a picture? And I was like, yeah. His name's Sonny. He did a whole photo shoot. He was like, okay, walk towards me. Okay, smile, look away. Oh, you look great. Smile, look away. And then he gave me a whole list. He's like, you and your boyfriend should do this, and y'all should, oh, you should bike across the Brooklyn Bridge, get an e-bike, and like give me all the wrecks. And he was so kind. I think that the cliche that I'm most surprised about is everybody is so friendly here. Even all my Uber drivers, I don't know. Y you know, you always hear like, oh, you know, typical New Yorker just getting through the day. And that's been very false. Um, so many nice people have just stopped and talked to me and I've loved it. Thank you, Sunny. The GPS pronounces street as Montag. So I don't know if it's Montague or Montag, but there is a blue bottle 22 minutes of a walk away. I'm trying to decide if I want to end my day, my solo adventure with that or not. I was en route to Blue Bottle and then I found this spot I was walking by. It's called Blank Street Coffee. And their matcha is so good. If you like sweet matcha, you're gonna hate it. But um, I despise sweet matcha with a passion. And this is strong, it's smooth, it's not clumpy. They use oatly, so it's great. Um, Gluten-free oat milk. Lovely little solo morning of sightseeing and matcha. Couldn't imagine any better. And I'm actually 
going to be starting the next vlog after lunch. Um, we're just going to order in lunch with uh, Brooke, Liam, and Jordy. Chill because tonight, when I start my new vlog, is the big Michelin star dinner. It's been like one of my dreams for forever. And I will be having my first sip of alcohol. I was going to do champagne, but now I'm thinking my sister and my mom don't like champagne. And I assume that that must be genetic. And they said that I should get a Sauvignon Blanc specifically from New Zealand. So I don't know. We'll see. But I will be taking the vlog along for that as much as I can if I don't get kicked out for uh, filming in a very nice restaurant. Maybe just my iPhone. But nevertheless, one more New York vlog coming soon. It should be a lot of fun. Thanks for spending the day with me and thanks again to Seed for partnering with me on this video. I'll have my link and my code down below to get 15% off of your first month. I just am very proud of myself. I'm just sitting on the street talking to my camera and so many people are walking by. I think New York's good for me. It's helping me care less about silly, silly little things I shouldn't care about. So cheers to New York. Uh, cheers to adventure and I'll see y'all the next one very soon. So give me a sign, give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, talking to here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here?